Hello, my name is Cassie Probst, and on behalf of Open Educational Resources at the Madison College Library, I'd like to welcome you to SMART Goals 101, a guide to actionable success. Have you ever set a goal that seemed great in the moment, but fizzled out before you achieved it? I think we've all been there. What if there was a way to ensure your goals not only stick, but drive real progress? The purpose of this short video is to share a bit about a SMART action plan and to walk you through the SMART action planning worksheets. So first, a SMART action plan is actionable because it emphasizes the importance of taking concrete steps to achieve a specific goal. So it's going to focus on execution, clarity, accountability, proactive mindset, and measurability. Second, the SMART action planning worksheet will help your project stay on track by outlining each stage of your OER creation project and assist with the visualization of each step so that you can attain your project goals within the appropriate timeline. So by the end of this presentation, you'll understand how SMART goals will clarify your objectives, keep you motivated, and measure your progress effectively to achieve your desired outcome. Okay, introducing SMART goals. SMART goals, because winging it only works for the birds. True statement. So the SMART acronym each letter represents a stage of the planning process. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely. In the next few slides, I'm gonna go ahead and break down each part and include an actionable summary statement at the end of each section. The summary statement doesn't need to include every detail that you place in your plan, but should provide a concise outline of what is included in the content. Here is the SMART goal worksheet that you can use to outline each aspect of your plan. Your copy will be blank, but on this copy, I've placed some guiding questions to help you think about each stage of your project's planning process. And that's what we're gonna be covering next. Specific is the art of avoiding the gray area. So to make your goal as specific as possible, here's a few questions that you'll want to consider. Who will be involved in the project? It's important to think about the scale of the project and also the potential interest that others might have as well. Are there any other faculty members or partners from other organizations that you might want to include? Next is what type of project will be created? Is it going to be a textbook, a full course or module in a particular subject area, interactive simulations, quizzes, assessments? And then think about where will the project be created and stored? So consider the platform that you will use to develop your project. When will the project be completed and launched? So is there a specific deadline or a timeline that you would need to have it completed by? Why is the project initiative important? Is it going to replace a high cost textbook? Does it better diversify a course based on the student population? Is it a better fit for your teaching style or students learning styles? So all of these questions are things that you would want to consider. And then here is a summary example. By June of 2025, the math department will collaborate to create an interactive online platform for a college algebra course by using My Open Math, which will be a no-cost replacement of the current Pearson online platform. Measurable, metrics and gear, keeping your progress and results crystal clear. The next stage is to consider how you will track your progress and quantify it. 
Here are some questions to consider as you map out your timeline and how to think about measuring the final success of your project. How will your project be divided into sections? You know, insert specific sections and list the content and how you would like it to be arranged. How will progress be measured? For example, you can determine the percent completion of each project section. Here's one that's divided into eight modules. We've discussed organizing the progress of the project to obtain 100% completion, but also consider the outcome and the impact once your project is complete. What type of data will measure your final results and project success? This question is more forward looking and relates back to the previous slide where we discussed why the project initiative is important. For example, if your project's final initiative is to um, achieve a no cost replacement of a textbook, quantitative data could include cost savings to the student and the college, which is one way you could measure the project's success. And here is the summary example. The project has a 12 month timeline and will be divided into eight modules and broken down into smaller components. Completion progress should increase by 12.5% at each six week check in. This is estimated to save students and Madison College a combined total of 12,500 each school year and can be tracked through yearly enrollment data. Achievable. From fantasy to practicality, make sure your goals have feasibility. In this stage of the process, it's important to make sure this goal can realistically be achieved with existing resources and support, and also to anticipate any potential barriers. So here's a few things to consider. What resources are available to complete the project, including items such as technology, budget, and team member support? What are potential obstacles or challenges which may arise and how can they be overcome? You know, make a list of those specific barriers or potential obstacles, um, faculty members and their assigned responsibilities. Make it as specific as you can. And here's a summary example. The math department will apply for the OER grant and several faculty members will participate in the project. The library support team has been identified as a partner to overcome potential barriers or obstacles as they arise. Relevance, perfectly positioned, make sure your goals align with the mission. Relevancy centers on alignment and broader impact of the goal. Here's a few questions that you can reflect on. How does this goal align with organizational goals and strategic priorities? And what is the impact of achieving the goal? For example, the math department's goal is to create quality content aligned with college algebra learning objectives while also eliminating the cost of educational materials for students and for Madison College in alignment with the state of Wisconsin OER funded grants as well as Madison College leadership priorities. Timely, beat the clock, set goals with timelines that rock. This sets the timeline parameters for completion of your project and includes specific dates and prioritization of task assignments. So we can take the information we started collecting on the measurable slide with the module percent completion stages and add to it by considering these questions. What is the project timeline and how frequently will you check in to ensure on-time completion? What are the estimated dates of completion for each project section? And how will tasks be prioritized and resources allocated? For example, each faculty member will be responsible for one module and progress an average of 12.5% by each six week check in mark to ensure the total project completion meets the June 2025 deadline. 
By the end of this stage, your SMART goal planning is complete and can also be condensed into one concise summary. So here is our SMART summary statement from everything we've put together so far. And again, this isn't going to include every single detail of your plan, but it will give you a summary of those actionable steps which are going to be taken to help you achieve your goal. Here is our example. By June 2025, the math department at Madison College will collaboratively create an interactive online platform for the college algebra course, replacing the current Pearson online platform with My Open Math at no cost to students or Madison College. The math department's goal is to create quality content aligned with college algebra learning objectives while also eliminating the cost of educational materials for students and for Madison College in alignment with the state of Wisconsin OER funded grant, as well as Madison College leadership priorities. The project will be divided into eight modules and their subject components with each faculty member responsible for developing one module. Progress will be tracked through six week check-ins aiming for a 12.5% completion increase at each checkpoint. The project is estimated to save students and Madison College a combined total of $12,500 each school year and can be tracked through yearly enrollment data. Today, we've explored how SMART goals can transform our approach to achieving objectives by making them specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely. By setting SMART goals, you can ensure that your goals are not only well-defined, but also actionable and manageable, which will help you stay focused and motivated through each stage of your project. I encourage you to use the SMART goal framework on your next project, and if you need further guidance or assistance as you navigate your planning stages, the Open Educational Resources team at the Madison College Library is here to support you. Thank you.